Number 1. Squats. Stand with feet shoulder width apart, toes pointed slightly outward. Engage core muscles and pull shoulder blades together slightly to push out your chest. Squat back as if you were about to sit in a chair. Keep your weight in your heels so you don't lean forward. Your hips should move down and back. Make sure your lower back curve is maintained and keep heels flat on the floor the whole time. Hips will descend lower than knees. The eventual goal is to touch your glutes to the backs of your calves. Hold for a few seconds, then rise up by pushing through heels and using glutes to return to a standing position. Number 2 lunges stand with your feet together then take a wide step out in front of you with your feet pointed forward bend the right knee and lower your body down making sure your front knee doesn't extend past your toes straighten the right leg and step back in returning to the starting position repeat with the left leg Number 3. Sumo Squats. Stand with your feet slightly wider than hip width apart, your toes pointing outward at about 45 degrees. Your hips should be rotate outward, too. This is the starting position. Inhale while pushing your hips back and lowering into a squat position. Keep your core tight, back straight, and your knees forward during this movement. Exhale while returning to the starting position. Focus on keeping your weight evenly distributed throughout your heel and midfoot. Number 4. Rest. Get a drink if you need one. Take a break and get ready to finish strong. Number 5. Side Lunges. Start with your feet shoulder width apart, toes pointed straight forward. Step out with your right foot as wide as possible. Engage through the right heel as you drop your hips down and back while keeping the left leg straight, stretching the groin on the left leg and keeping both soles of the feet on the ground and toes pointed straight forward. Make sure your right knee is tracking over your right foot the whole motion. Powerfully, punch your right heel into the floor to push yourself back to the full standing start position. That's one rep. Number 6. Glute Bridge. Lie on your back and set your knees about shoulder width apart, with your feet flat on the ground and your knees bent. Slowly raise your hips, engage your glutes, and squeeze your core. Be careful not to arch your back as you lift your hips as high as possible. Pause. And lower back down. Number 7. Side Leg Raises. Lie on your right side. Place your right hand under your head to support your head and neck. Maintain a neutral head and neck position. Your chin should remain tucked throughout the movement. Place your left hand on the side of your left hip or in front of your waist to stabilize your upper body. 
Your pelvis should be slightly tucked and your ribs should be down. Engage your core. Your legs should be fully extended and stacked on top of each other without locking your knees. Your body should form a straight line. While maintaining your alignment, initiate the upward movement by lifting your left leg 10 to 15 inches away from your right leg. Pause at the top of the movement. Slowly lower your leg back to the starting position. You did it! Congrats! Can you do the next level?